Ecologically Addressing Society. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 355. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is G. Siebel. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 355, January 12th, 2020 edition. Uh, One Community's goal, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together the people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to, cre to create sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is ecologically addressing society. And I'm going to roll up my sleeves for this one and let's get into it. Because ecologically addressing society is really about getting into the foundations of what's up with society and why are we not already living sustainably? Because if you think about the fact that we are by definition living in a way that is not sustainable, meaning how we're living right now cannot continue indefinitely. It will come to an end if we continue to do it. It's pretty crazy to think that society as a whole is not engaging this process and doing something differently. And so one community's goal is to get people on board. And we one way that we do that is we call it selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. And what that means is we're ecologically addressing society by creating a model that meets people's selfish needs while being philanthropic and humanitarian. And what do I mean by that? Well, we think that if we demonstrate, we know that if we demonstrate a way of living that's better than the way that people are living right now, and this way of living happens to be built on what we call highest good principles, which are principles for the betterment of all life on this planet, all people, including the people doing it, of course, including ourselves, then we're taking society a step in the right direction. And we can ecologically address society's foundational needs in a way that's better than the way they're living right now, and in so doing, also help other people. And so our teacher demonstration model, which is built on what you see happening in the background of the video here, sustainable housing, sustainable food, sustainable education, sustainable energy, sustainable fulfilled living practices, true earth stewardship, and even sustainable economics, it's all built on this foundation, what we call highest good living, that takes a mindset for how can we live and create for the betterment of all life on this planet, while simultaneously, of course, meeting our own needs because the betterment of all life on this planet means us, and not just in a do-gooder way, like, oh, I want to help the planet because that's the right thing to do, but no, I want to help the planet in a way that directly and specifically benefits me and feels great to do. It creates a better way of living for me, creates a better way of living for my friends, my family, for my local community, for my national community, and for my global community. And I'm open sourcing and free sharing it because I want other people to be able to live this way too. Creating a global cooperative and collaborative of communities working together to create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that we're creating, open sourcing and free sharing it so people can replicate it, so people can improve upon it, so people can adapt it to meet their own specific needs, but all built with an ecological foundation because we're ecologically addressing the society with the model by changing the way people think about living changing the way people think about living so that they realize that, wait a minute, to reduce by and eliminate or eliminate my power bills is great. I don't have to pay a power bill anymore. Like my power bill can be zero. To be able to grow my own food so that it's not grown with poisons, with herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides on it. So I'm not putting that in my body so that it's locally grown, so that it's more healthy and more nutritious and fresher. That, that, that personally appeals to me. To be able to not have to drive every week to the grocery store, to be able to, if I need tools or if I want some of the fun things in life like a jet ski or a motorcycle or a dune buggy or toys for my kids or tools to be able to work in the backyard, to be able to borrow that from a tool library rather than having to own and maintain all that stuff for myself. So I have more fun things to play with, more things to do because I'm cooperating and collaborating and sharing those things rather than having to buy and maintain them for myself when I might only use them once or twice a year in some cases, that makes sense. 
and to be able to have more free time to do the things that I want to do and more things to do with that free time because I'm cooperating and collaborating to accomplish the things I don't really like to do, like doing dishes and doing laundry and for me making food because somebody who loves to make food is already doing that and in return I might be doing something for them like helping them build their house. Wow, that seems like a really great idea. You know, to not have to commute to work anymore because everything that I want to do and everything that I need to do is within walking distance and to have all my recreation and social activities within walking distance and have more options to be able to engage in that are all free within walking distance and coordinated and collaborated and created by friends and people that I care about and love. Yeah, I'm down with that. And I want to share that idea with other people too. I want everybody to be involved in this idea. I want to create places around the world that are doing the same thing so that myself and other people can visit those places and share our ideas as our vacation idea like, hey, I live in a vacation environment and I know other people that live in a vacation environment as well and we trade resources and sometimes we'll go and visit each other and experience other people's vacation environments and share the best of what they're doing with the best of what we're doing in a cooperation and collaboration to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. Hell yeah, sign me up for Ecologically Addressing Society. This is how we're doing it. And so we know if we can demonstrate this as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own because people would prefer to live this way than the way they're living right now. And that makes sense. At least it makes sense to me. And it makes sense to the people that are working our project. And at this point, we've had over 400 volunteers. We've been at this for 10 years. And we're creating amazing things moving towards the time when we will build one community as a place where people can come and visit and experience it and people like myself and other members of our core team can live there full time, operate it, create it, grow it, build it, expand it to be a multi-million dollar organization that can help others as well while we expand and build out all seven village models. Yeah, we're ecologically addressing society like that. So this is what we're up to. Thanks for checking it out. Watch the rest of the video for a quick overview of all the different sections of our project, some of the some more specifics on how each one of those works. Visit our written blog if you'd like to see our weekly progress update specifics of what we accomplished in the last week. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.